New at 11, saving lives one organ donation at a time. Could Chicago become the transplant hub of the country? That's what hospitals in our area, also doctors and politicians, are hoping for. CBS 2 Susanna Song live at the Cultural Center where the Chicago Organ Summit is taking place. Good morning. Right now, there are more than 4,700 people in Illinois waiting for an organ transplant. 300 will die waiting. It's the inaugural Chicago Organ Summit, bringing together transplant programs, Chicago area hospitals, and local leaders to improve organ donations and transplantations. Chicago has some of the best hospitals equipped to carry out transplants, but it takes teamwork to increase the number of surgeries. Calvin Martin, a local DJ, received a heart in 2014. He had congestive heart failure and waited two and a half years to find a match. My donor family, I've, I've met them, uh, Janice Pierce, that's my donor's mom. It makes me feel so good uh, when she sees me out DJing and, and actually moving around to know that her son, JR, is living inside of me and we're doing good. Just over the weekend, Darvise Munson received a kidney from her 11-year-old cousin, Tykea Holmes. Holmes was shot in the head by a stray bullet as she sat in a van with her family during a gang feud. She died last Tuesday but was kept on life support so that her organs could be used for transplants. Thanks to her organ donations, she has saved eight lives, including her cousin. The CEO of Gift of Hope says it is all about rewriting the end to a tragedy, and he believes Chicago can do a better job to save more lives. We have the perfect combination. We have an incredibly generous population who's willing to donate organs. We have great transplant programs, and we are geographically in the right place. We're in the middle of the country. At the Cultural Center, Susanna Song, CBS 2 News.